The James Webb Telescope, incredible as it is, is also an attractive object. This latest space observatory from NASA is, without a doubt, the best of its type. Need more convincing? For the simple reason that the JWST has captured some of the most incredible images of our galaxy ever taken. Keep watching the video if you're interested in seeing more of these breathtakingly gorgeous views of our galaxy. Welcome to Space News Unfold, the channel that's more out of this world than a talking moon rock. If you're a space enthusiast, an aspiring astronaut, or just love all things extraterrestrial, then you've come to the right place. And if you want to join us on this interstellar adventure, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Because, as they say in space, no one can hear you scream. But everyone can see if you're not subscribed to our channel. So don't let your fellow space fans down. Hit the like and subscribe button faster than a shooting star. Thanks for joining us, and let's blast off into the unknown together. Number 1. NGC 7496 with the high resolution of the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists are finally able to see how the birth of young stars affects the development of surrounding galaxies. This image from Webb's mid-infrared instrument shows the spiral arms of NGC 7496, one of the 19 galaxies selected by the Physics at High Angular Resolution in nearby galaxies Fangs, team for further research. Mary. These structures, including as filaments and hollow cavities, are proof that young stars are releasing energy and, in some circumstances, blowing away the gas and dust of this interstellar medium. Before the advent of Webb's excellent resolution at infrared wavelengths, stars in their infancy were previously hidden by gas and dust in nearby galaxies like NGC 7496. Webb's ability to detect molecules at very specific wavelengths is crucial for understanding the function these complex organic chemicals play in the birth of stars and planets. They can be seen in the primary dust lanes of the spiral arms at Webb's MIRI image. Number 2. Snakes and Stones Although it was commonly referred to by the far less descriptive name NGC 4194, there were actually two separate objects here. A galaxy swallowed a gas-rich system long ago, unleashing a barrage of stellar and dusty gas jets. The name of this phenomenon is a reference to the writhing snakes that the monster Medusa of Greek mythology that the monster Medusa of Greek mythology wore on her head in place of hair, and which can be seen sprouting from the top of the merger galaxy. According to the myth of Medusa, anyone who glimpsed her face would be turned to stone. Medusa's eye, the center of the colliding galaxies, is a safe place to gaze upon this scenario. Outbursts of star formation, prompted by the accumulation of cool gas, makes this part of the universe stand out strikingly. Number 3. Abel, 1689 The NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope shows dark matter dispersion at the center of Abel 1689, a huge galaxy cluster with a billion galaxies and trillion stars. Dark matter, an invisible substance, makes up most of the universe. Webb can't see dark matter. Astronomers use gravitational lensing to locate it. To establish the cluster's dark matter distribution and mass, astronomers evaluated 135 lensed images of 42 background galaxies. Overlay a map of blue-hued dark matter locations. If the cluster's gravity came from visible galaxies, lensing distortions would be weaker. The map depicts the darkest matter at the cluster core. Abel 1689 is about 2.2 billion light years away. Number 4. Southern Ring Gas This image of the Southern Ring Nebula was taken by Webb's near-infrared camera, NERCAM, and mid-infrared instrument, MERI, for comparison, NGC 3132. The north and east compass arrows are used to determine the image's orientation relative to the sky. Take note that the direction arrows on the ground are oriented counterclockwise with respect to the sky, as seen from below as seen from above. As one year on Earth is equal to the speed of light, the ruler is marked in light years. In just about a quarter of a year, light will have traveled the length of the bar. The distance between two points on Earth measured in light years is 5,884 trillion miles. 
9,464 trillion kilometers. A quarter of a light year is depicted here. Colors normally invisible at near and mid infrared wavelengths are depicted here. See which NERCAM and MIRI filters caught which colors of light using this handy color key. The infrared light transmitted by each filter is named for the visible light hue it most closely resembles. 5. A Whirl of Color As can be seen, NGC 6753 is a veritable rainbow of hues, with blue flashes across the spiral arms indicating places rich in young stars burning brilliantly in ultraviolet light and redder areas inhabited by older stars producing in the cooler near-infrared. Despite the advances in astronomy over the past decade, the process of galaxy development remains unknown. Because galaxies come in such a vast range of shapes and sizes, from ellipticals to spirals to irregulars, no single idea has been able to account for their emergence across the universe. Number 6. A Pulsating Stellar Relic The planetary nebula NGC 2452 may be seen in the southern constellation Pupus, in this view from the James Webb Space Telescope. When a star like our Sun runs out of fuel, all that's left is a blue haze across the entire screen. A star's atmosphere is blown away into space when the star's core becomes unstable and produces a flood of extremely high-energy particles. The remnants of the star that created this nebula can be found at the center of the blue cold. Because of the gravitational waves that pulse throughout its small star's body, this chilly, faint, and highly dense star is technically known as a pulsating white dwarf. Number 7. A Shock Near a Young Star The neighboring strong star forming region known as the Big Nebula in Orion has been a treasure trove for the James Webb Space Telescope. This image depicts a gem, the bow shock from the young star LL Ori. Number 8. Red Giant Blows a Bubble this remarkable photo depicts a brilliant star enveloped in a thin layer of gas. Short for U. Camelopardalis, this star is U. Camelopardalis. It's growing increasingly unsteady as its fuel level drops. On a time scale of a few thousand years, it belches out a nearly spherical shell of gas as the helium around its core begins to fuse. In this image, a faint bubble of gas surrounding the star indicates the location of the gas ejected during the most recent outburst. UCAM, albeit located in Camelopardalis, the giraffe, and seemingly close to the North Celestial Pole, is actually quite modest. A single pixel could easily contain the star if it were placed in the exact center of the image, but its intensity is too great for the advanced camera to handle. Thanks for taking a joyride with us on Space News Unfold. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you can join our crew of intergalactic adventurers. By doing so, you'll be the first to know about all the latest space news and gossip, and you'll help us continue our mission to boldly go where no YouTube channel has gone before. So, hit that like button like you're launching a rocket, and subscribe faster than a shooting star. We promise to keep the space puns coming and the cosmic content flowing. Thanks for watching and see you on the next episode of Space News Unfold. Click on the video on your screen and let us take you on another space adventure.